Hi everyone, today we are going to see a program of a bisection method in a Scilab software. So let's begin a program of a bisection method. First of all, open your Synodes window in a Scilab software. Then you have to enter a name of a program by giving a two slash in front of it, which indicate a comment. You have to name the program by adding a two slash in front of it. Program for a bisection method. After that, you must add CLC semicolon clear semicolon and close semicolon. CLC indicates CLC indicate the clearing of a Sci console window. Clear indicate the clearing of a variable browser window, and close indicate the clearing of a graphic window which is which has been opened in the software now while solving a problem we used a systematic method first of all we write a given data so here instead of given data we are going to have a input data so first input will be the given function in uh, scilab we have to write it by deff which indicate define, defining a given function defining a given function opening bracket single inverted comma y equal to f of x single inverted comma complete comma again single inverted comma y equal to x raised to 3 this is the given function you can add any function to it you can add linear function as well as a transcendental function instead of this so this is how we are defining a function further we need to take a input data from the user so we are going to take an initial guesses from the user so a syntax for it is x1 equal to input opening bracket single inverted comma enter enter the first initial guess x1 single inverted comma complete bracket complete semicolon Similarly, x2 we can write, we can also copy paste the same line and we can replace the value of x2 Other inputs data are accuracy which is denoted by a variable acc will be again equal to input enter the value of accuracy single inverted comma complete semicolon complete other initialization we must do about iteration i equal to zero then what we do in a bisection method we generally solve one iteration and then tabulate the form we need to tabulate the form in this manner a heading should be of iteration number x1 x2 z and f of z so how to write this thing in a programming form so we need to write print f in bracket single inverted comma front slash n front slash t which indicates which indicates the new line as well as a tab then itr number again slash t slash t again x1 again slash t slash t x2 again slash t slash t z again slash t slash t is f of z so this many titles we need to give above the table as you can see in this tabular form iteration number 
x1 x2 z and f of z after this we will uh, have a logic in it well uh, after the after writing the input data we will insert a logic of a bisection method where we are going to use a while loop it will say while abs of x1 minus x2 that is abs is nothing but a absolute value is if it is greater than acc acc indicates the accuracy then it should first of all calculate the value of z z will be equal to in the bracket x1 plus x2 divide by 2 divide by 2 and then again we need to print this values of x1 x2 and z in a form of a table so how we are going to print it first of all percent f then again percent uh, friend slash t friend slash t percent f friend slash t friend slash t percent f friend slash t friend slash t percent f friend slash t friend slash t so we need to have 5 percent f as we are going to show five variable named as itr number sorry it will be a iteration comma x1 comma x2 comma z comma f of z f of z again ending the sentence we have again we need to uh, write a logic for substitution of value of z to x1 and x2 for that we are going to use an if condition if f of z if f of z into f of x1 f of z into f of x1 whole bracket is greater than 0 then x1 is equal to z else else x2 equal to z again same equal we are going to end this value and further we are going to have a counter statement that is i equal to i plus 1 it will lead us to next iteration so we will end the while loop after i equal to i plus 1 and the main and most important thing is to display your answer so it is displaying answer again by printer single inverted comma the value of x after percent f iteration equal to percent f single inverted comma complete comma the first percent f indicates the first percent f indicates the value of i and the second percent indicates the value of z so this is how we are going to type a program for a bisection method now let's save the program i already save it again i will do save as save the program with other name known as a bisect okay you can use any name but only thing make sure that you have to use in a continuous manner bisection method no any space in between this now it has been saved now we are going to execute the program now we are going to execute the program we are going to execute the program by clicking this play sign so after clicking the play sign what we have got we have got a syntax error 
a syntax error in a line of uh, yes a syntax error in a line at one yes here it is backslash instead of front slash so again it will add a comment again we are going to execute the program yes so it is asking us enter the first initial guess so you have to enter the first initial guess to be as zero so it is asking the second initial guess it is one again it is asking second initial guess again after that it is asking how much should be the accuracy so i am getting my answer in one line itself so what i must do i must add a front slash n to the printf i am getting correct answer but in a one line so i must add front slash n to this program and then go for execution of this program then go to the console window and here you can see the zero enter the first value again it is asking first value again it is asking first value and then one enter the value of accuracy 0.001 then you will get your answer as the value of x after 10th iteration is 0.65722 so you can have this line on new line also by adding front slash n again last time execution of the program yes you will get again zero then again zero initial guess like this three time asking again one accuracy 0.001 and you will get a sweet answer of the script okay this is how we learn how to make a program of a bisection method thank you